Hello there, so in the shaman's kitchen this morning I'm going to do some shamanic cookery with you, a bit of shamanic cuisine, but before we start, I'm going to start with my knife because I notice my knife needs sharpening, so when you notice your knife needs sharpening, just stop what you're doing, don't cook but sharpen your knife instead. It's a Japanese vegetable knife in one of my personal absolute all out favourites in terms of working such a useful knife in so many ways and you can get all these fancy devices to sharpen your knife with that you run the knife through this little blade type things and there's even electric ones and the answer to all those is no we're going to go old school because it's such a better result so it's a sharpening stone it's got two surfaces that's a fine surface and that's the rough surface. So I'm going to start with a rough surface. You need a liquid of some description. People who work with chisels and woodworking tools can use paraffin, mineral oil. We can use vegetable oil, but I prefer to use water because it's simple. And it means that the sharpening stone doesn't ever gum, get gummed up with any oil deposits. So here's the first thing I need to explain to you. Notice, left-handed. So because I'm a left-handed person, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting an edge on this face of the knife only. I won't put an edge on that face. You'll see what I do instead. If you're right-handed, you do everything the other way around. You'd be putting an edge on the right face of the knife and doing this other thing with a left face. But I am who I am. So a little bit of water on top there. And I'm going to use a circular motion and the knife is going to come into contact with the stone and i'm going to hold it at a certain angle that just feels right that's the only way i can describe it it's not a rational mind thing it's an intuitive sense so it's like this that's the sound we make Now I'm going to turn it over the other side. I'm just going to do this little motion on the other face. That's it. So any tiny fragments of metal that got dislodged have just been removed by that process. So I did 30 strokes and a quick little of boom, boom, boom. Now flip it over onto the fine face. Again, some more water. Exactly the same thing again, but notice it won't sound the same. We've done most of the work already. Turning it over and doing this again. That's it. And this knife is now ready for use. So what I need to do at this point is to remind myself that I now have a sharp knife in my hand and I need to tell myself to be very mindful because I'm used to hacking through a vegetable with a blunt knife and I'm suddenly using a really sharpened knife. I could be surprising myself. So that's the way that we do it. So there we are. I Japanese vegetable knife ready for some action. <laughs> 